Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be testing my current favorite car in Asphalt 9, the W Motors Lycan Hypersport. Now, this is the third best car in Class S behind the Fenner and Sheeran, and it is the best car in the current multiplayer season. I have three starred it, and I have the maximum upgrades that I can at this stage, and my rank is 3524. Our first race is a battle between me and the owner of Legions United, Fury Lewis Hamilton, whose name is, funnily enough, Touch Drive Noob. Not exactly sure why. His Lycan is one star higher than me, so four stars. Now, Himalayas is one of the best tracks for the Lycan, so this is good for both of us, and it's a very good track for us to duel on. I always enjoy racing members of my club, as I said in previous videos, because they usually have more or less the same skill level level as me and they're less likely to knock me down than some random people would. So why do I like this car so much? For one thing, its drifting is the best in the entire game. It's one of the only cars in Asphalt 9 where you really have to not drift as sharp as you could around some turns because you might hit the inside, which doesn't happen with like anything else. It drifts like some Asphalt 8 cars, so that is one thing I really like about this. Also, its speed is very high. 259 miles per hour with nitro at this rank which is very good one of the highest in the game fifth highest i believe the lycan also has quite good handling now its acceleration is only average and its nitro efficiency could be better but honestly these things are fairly small compared to the amazing drifting and the amazing speed you can get around anywhere and at three stars the acceleration is definitely better than at one star so you don't have to worry so much about losing a tremendous amount of speed around turns. I usually don't speed up clips in my Asphalt 9 videos like I am right now, but I figured that since it was a quite close race throughout the entire thing, I wouldn't cut it out, but I wouldn't just leave it going at the same speed the whole time either because it would just be basically a repeat of the first lap. So definitely guys, let me know what you think about this kind of editing. So we've pulled out the victory in this race, but Lewis is not too far behind us. If you're watching this, Lewis, it's always a pleasure to race you. Now for a race on San Francisco against four other people this time, two of them being Legion's United members. Three of the other cars are Asterions, and one of them is a slightly lower ranked Centenario. If you would like to see how the Centenario performs this multiplayer season, go check out my video about that. Now here I have a little bit of an issue, and fall down to the right here, this is not the way I intended to go. However, I figured with the Lycan's great speed, I might just be able to catch up. And it seemed like that was the case, because I'm already back into third position. It's fairly obvious that the reason that the Lycan is the best multiplayer car this season is because of its extremely higher top speed than the other cars in the season. And this is true, but there is another reason as well. You see, all of the races this season are two laps. And two laps, as we know from Asphalt 8, is much better than one lap for higher speed cars. And this goes over into Asphalt 9 as well. This Asterion ahead of me is slower than me by a good, like, 40 miles per hour. But we are coming up near the end of the first lap, and although I am passing him now, it's not too far away from what would be the finish line if it were a one lap race. I didn't even get knocked down in this race. I just took a slower route accidentally, but it put me a bit behind. So it's fairly obvious that Gameloft wanted the Lycan to be the definitely dominant car this multiplayer season, which is good for those that have it, but not good for those that don't. Unless, of course, you're a skilled Centenario driver like we meet in the next race. So here we are facing a Lycan, which is slightly lower ranked than me, and a Centenario, which is around the same rank as me. Now you'll see the Centenario starts up maybe slightly faster, but yeah, it's really not all that much different. So currently in Asphalt 9, there are around 50 cars. I think 51 after the first update, which added two, meaning there were 49 originally. That is just two more than there originally were in Asphalt 8. After five years, Asphalt 8 had well over 200 cars. So what do you think? Do you think Asphalt 9 will be around in five years? Do you think it will last as long? Do you think it will last longer if it does last that long? Do you think there will be that many cars added? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But I believe if Asphalt 9 progresses like Asphalt 8 did for the first few years with not a super huge amount of like pay to win stuff, and I know this game already has some, but if they don't add a whole lot more, 
Hopefully, this game will get a few years of time. And I certainly hope it does, because I believe it has a lot of potential, even for all its shortcomings, I believe it is a worthy successor to Asphalt 8. And by far, my favorite game to play right now. Speaking of Asphalt 8, I have won the Hyundai i30N and the Mercedes, and I am working on winning the Pista. You can expect a video about the new Mercedes this Saturday. So we came in first here ahead of that Centenario, who also beat the other Lycan. So is it pronounced Lycan or Lycan? Because I don't like pronouncing it Lycan, because that sounds like the algae and fungi combination thingy. So I just say Lycan, that's what it looks like. Tell me in the comments how you guys pronounce it. Because as I found out with Jaguar, car names are not pronounced the same in all places. So in this race, our main competitor is a four-star ranked 3800 Lycan, driven by Elite Predator N, a member of the Elite team. So right now we are passing the Asterion, and oddly enough, the other Lycan is in last place, and the car in front of us right now is the Centenario. Now on that jump there, I figured out that it is best to do at least perfect nitro when you land, otherwise you will lose a lot of speed. So we have gotten into first position, now we just have to fend off this higher ranked Lycan for two laps. Well, one and a half laps actually. Now the thing is, if you can get ahead of a car that's like one star higher than you, you can often in time stay ahead of them as long as the speed difference isn't too much which it usually is not in s-class cars so this shouldn't be too much of a problem the lycan is the one directly behind us right now and as you can see he's not catching up that fast if at all so i just got to use speed tricks when i can use shock waves when i need to and it shouldn't be a problem and it turned out not to be and we finished even further ahead than we were at the beginning of the second lap we also beat a similarly ranked centenario as well as an asterion around the thousand rank below now in this race we are facing another lycan as well as a centenario and an Asterion, I believe. The Asterions usually come in last places in these races against S-Class cars. So this race was quite interesting, and it really showed that the Lycan does not have 100% dominance this multiplayer season, even on two-lap races. Now, it does have like 90-plus percent dominance, but there are those few races against Centenarios mostly, where they do give you a run for your money. Now that ramp back there, I've learned it is definitely best to shockwave up and I've actually passed multiple people by doing that. Here I knock that guy down and I come up right behind this Centenario. So here is one problem that I face when I'm doing multiplayer. Whenever I come up behind a car that is going slower than me but not super much slower, I always fear passing them. And then I usually end up bumping them from behind and not getting past them and then because I use all my nitro and don't have enough nitro here, they can knock me down, which is the exact same thing I was trying to avoid to begin with. Usually I don't do this, but here I got a little bit desperate and when this other Lycan passed me, I tried to 360, almost got him, but not quite. However, I'm probably glad that I did not get him because I really do like playing clean. There, I have some kind of weird stunt. This race was just crazy overall. We are in three out of, well, four, I guess, if the Styrion had still been in the race. I think he disconnected, but not all hope is lost. You see, because I knocked down that Lycan back there and the Centenario knocked me down, we both Lycans are put behind and the Centenario is in first position. And that is an anomaly this multiplayer season. So the Lycan ahead of us is catching up very quickly to the Centenario. Now this Centenario goes full beast mode and probably 360s and knocks him down. He was a very good driver, just overall, and I commend him for that. But I'm catching up quite quickly behind him, and I figured that if I would be able to get past him, maybe at some corner when I had Shockwave and he didn't, or maybe just because of my superior speed, I'd be able to get by and pull out the win. Here, we are catching up on him very quickly. So, I learned from my mistakes last time. I used Shockwave after the turn, got up to a faster speed than him, and started catching up to him ever so slowly. Actually, pretty fast now that I think about it. I 360 here trying to stay close to the inside and then drift to shockwave up the ramp, nearly half barrel. Thankfully we don't. We go into the finish line like upside down and we still go up. That race is probably one of the craziest races I played in the Lycan. Now for our final race of the video in which we are having not so great matchmaking, let's just say. We are facing a Platinum League guy like 150 below us in a car 1000 below us. And I'm not exactly sure why this happens. My speculation is that it happens when the game just cannot find anybody with a Legend League player rating, in my case, to pair me with. So it pairs me with the closest other thing, which just happened to be with the car that was way below my rank. 
And I'm not the only one this has happened to. I've seen screenshots of people going in at like 1800 rating with super high 3500 rank cars and meeting people at like 1500 rating and 2500 rank cars. I've also seen screenshots from the other direction as well, where one person in Platinum League 1500 goes in and meets seven people in Legends League, all with higher cars. So you really never know what to expect in Asphalt 9 multiplayer. So now it's time for me to give my general review about this car. It is a very good car, the third best best car in the game. It has the best drifting in the game, the fifth highest top speed in the game. It is all around just a very good car and the best car this season. If you do not have the Lycan yet, play the S-Class Cup every Friday. You are guaranteed one blueprint for this car and you may get more. Also, they sometimes appear in the shop for credits and you should definitely pick up a couple of those when they come around, assuming you have enough credits. Because this is the best non-exclusive car in the game. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you've enjoyed and consider subscribing for for more Asphalt 8 and Asphalt 9 content. We're over halfway to the 25k sub face reveal, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.